Let's look at the solution for use a ceiling or floor function to give a mathematical expression for the following value. There are U unit supervisors and E employees under them. A building space can accommodate 12 people per floor. Write an expression that represents the number of floors required to house the business. So there are basically two parts of this problem. The first part is to write an algebraic expression um, that represents the quantity. After that, you need to figure out whether it's going to be a floor or it's going to be a ceiling. Okay, so let's just start with the expression. You have U unit supervisors and E employees. So you're going to add those two together to find the total number of people in the in the business. And then you know that there are going to be 12 people per floor, so we're going to have to divide that number by 12 to figure out how many floors that we have. Okay, now comes the part where we determine whether this is going to be a ceiling or floor. Um, do you need to go up to the next integral value or do you need to go down? So um, if you have a business in this case, we know that everybody's got to be in the office. So if you're going to need a certain number of floors, there might be a floor that is not completely filled. Therefore, we're going to have a ceiling or we're going to go up. Um, you can see several examples of floors in the um, in Zybooks, so take a look at those. Make sure you understand the differences. If you have questions, let me know.